What up, everybody? It's the Tech Playoffs, and we back with another video. If you guys watched my last couple videos, you've seen that I had the S24 Ultra, and I did end up returning it because uh, I had the S23 Ultra. I ended up selling the S23, and I stood with my Pixel 8 Pro. And to be honest, I love as much as my as much as I love my Pixel 8 Pro. I think that's one of the phones that has one of the best softwares. I am not a fan of Tensor. I know I expressed that in the past in one of my videos. And I, I just missed having that new A Gen 3 processor. It is just amazing in terms of performance and efficiency. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, I did miss the customizability of One UI. Pixel's great because it has its real clean software and a lot of AI features. But Samsung knocked it out of the park this time. And I do now prefer the One UI over the Pixel stock launcher because I don't have to download a new launcher to add icons or to remove the Pixel at a glance or um, just to add my, you know, certain things that I like to customize. I can do that on this. This has so many options out the box without having to install a new launcher that I went ahead and I, I went and bought another one. But I didn't get the S23. I mean, I'm sorry, the S24 Ultra. I got the S24 Plus. And I have been loving this. This is just slightly smaller than, than the S24 uh, Ultra. And I mean slightly. If I'm not mistaken, that's a 6.8 and this is a 6.7. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just that small of a difference. It's not that big. But to be honest... I use my phones sometimes with a case. I did get these this Samsung case that it's okay. Um, I just got it for protection, but I don't normally use it. I got this because it feels so much better in the hand than the S24 Ultra. And like I said, it's slightly smaller in terms of the screen size, but just the built quality and the built design on this is amazing. This feels lighter than the S24 Ultra, but the, the curved sides that you see here, you don't get this on the S24 Ultra. You get more of a boxy design. And to be honest, this is a hell of a difference in terms of comfortability when you're holding this. So I normally palm my phone like this, like most people. But as you can see here, I have that slight curve. So when I'm palming it, it's very comfortable. On the S24 Ultra, I get that little corner that sticks into my, my skin because it's very pointy. And it's very uncomfortable to use without a case. With a case, it's a little bit different. But uh, and to, to be honest, I I normally rock my devices without a case. And that's just me. I know most people like cases for protection. But I just love to enjoy the design of the phones. I love the feel of the materials. And it just feels better without a case. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, but I love it. And... I love the fact that it has most of every feature that the S24 has. The only thing you're gonna be missing, to be honest, is the zoom lens and the, um, what am I forgetting, the S Pen. So the S Pen and the zoom lens is the only thing that you're gonna be missing on this device. To be honest, when I first got the device, I took the S Pen out, I didn't mess with it, but I had it for a month and I didn't use the S Pen. Uh, I just don't, I'm, I'm not a, a drawer or a creator or anything like that, other than uh, very small uh, video editing, but I don't do any creations in terms of me to uh, need the S Pen. The zoom on the camera that has the 100 times zoom, um, I did use it and I don't think it's a gimmick. I think it's a real cool feature depending on how far you go with the zoom. Um, you can get some really great shots with the videos and as well as the photos, but I think that this still has a great set of cameras that I don't miss the zoom because I didn't use it that much. It's great to have, but uh, and it would I would love it on this phone, don't get me wrong, but it's not a deal breaker for me. As well as the S Pen, it's not a deal breaker for me because I didn't use it. Uh, this is the marble gray. I normally go for the darker devices, but I wanted to go light with this one. Um, so I like the fact that it's more of a, um, it's a matte finish on the back, just like most of the uh, 
the S24 series and it has just the flat sides which reminds me of uh, iPhone of course I know a lot of people mentioned that but it feels comfortable it's not that they're I don't think they're copying Apple they're just they're, they went with a design that feels more comfortable um, a lot of companies do that they borrow designs from each other you know it's probably never gonna stop but it's in, in in my opinion it was it was a smart thing to go with um, it feels more comfortable in the hand the flat sides it's makes it easier to hold and it just looks better in my opinion in terms of battery uh, this is a 49 milliamp uh, cell and it uh, it's the battery is as great as the s24 ultra uh, you're gonna lose probably minutes in terms of a battery difference to be honest and that is uh, of course depending on how you use your phone um, so that's gonna vary by user uh, I'm not a big gamer I don't game on my phones it's mostly entertainment and social media so uh, I get all day on this phone with no issue uh, it charges very fast uh, it's got a, a 45 watt if I'm, if I'm not mistaken uh, uh, wired and then you got the wireless as well but it charges very fast when I plug it in and within a half hour I'm up to full again almost uh, so it's it's hard to have anything bad to say about this because like I said this is from the s24 family and <clears throat> they're all pretty much designed similar they have similar features um, even all the way down to the regular s24 the non plus uh, you're just getting a smaller display a smaller display and smaller battery you're still getting great software uh, great cameras and uh, the just the other two features the other two uh, models don't get the s pen but if you're not a, a, an s pen person you're not gonna miss it. Uh, it of course it's great to have uh, I'm not gonna say that it's not a great feature because it is but I didn't use it so I don't miss it um, and that's what I'm using right now so I love it uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it because I switched my devices so so fast but uh, so far I'm enjoying it uh, one other feature also that I wanted to mention is I use Dex a lot so at work I plug my phone into my monitor and I use all the, the resources from my phone onto the monitor. And it's a lot easier for me to do it that way. So I did use the DeX on the um, on the S24 Ultra and I loved it. So I didn't miss it when I didn't have it. Um, this is uh, a great feature. Like I said, I use it every day and it sucked to not have it when I didn't have the, uh, the S24. So I'm glad to have it back. Uh, I know a lot of people don't probably use DeX uh, but for some of you who do, you know what I'm talking about. It is a great feature to have. It's like having a full-fledged PC in your hands. Uh, of course, not a gaming PC, but a productivity PC uh, that you can do a lot on. So this is how I'm rocking it right now. I got the Google uh, widget up top, the Google at a glance. And I got custom icons on the bottom. Uh, this is called Gladiant. So if I go to my theming uh, folder here... You see it's called Gladiant right there. That's how that looks. Um, that's the icons that I'm using. And I applied these using Theme Park. If you don't know what Theme Park is, you can get that from the Samsung uh, App Store. They have it there. That's how you apply uh, a couple different uh, settings for the home screen. So uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, shoot it down below and we'll chat in the, in the comment section. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. I went back to Samsung. Uh, the S24 Plus and I'm enjoying it as much as I enjoyed my S24 Ultra uh, It is a great device in my opinion the number one Android skin right now. You have a lot of great ones uh, I did love oxygen OS, but it it changed too much of color OS for me to to put it at number one But it is a really fast and stable software um, I did use nothing OS 2, but um it's it's kind of too plain for me this one I love it um, there's a lot of features built into it that you don't have to like I said download a launcher or stuff to get those it's just fully baked into the OS so that's why I prefer this so I did change my font I changed my wallpaper my widgets my icons of course you can do most of this on all Android phones but on Samsung, most of the features are built in, so it's great not to have to download additional apps just to uh, achieve that. But other than that, uh, great, 
great, great phone with great battery life, great software, great cameras, um, great experience on social media apps and uh, YouTube and entertainment, everything. Like, what else you do you need a phone for? You can plug this in, use it as a DeX and have a full-fledged PC uh, like experience. So um, I'm happy with this. I plan to hold on to this for a while. Um, I want to try the OnePlus 12. I haven't tried that one yet. That's next on my list. But right now, this is what I'm rocking in my pocket. And I hope to be using this in the near future. Uh, but if you guys have this, let me know on your experience. And I want to chat with you guys and, and get your opinion on what, you know, how you feel about the S24 Plus versus the Ultra. And even versus the smaller one. I held the smaller one in my hand and it feels amazing as a compact device. Like I said, you're getting most of the features other than less battery and less screen real estate. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Of course, I thank you for all of these uh, supporting my channel and uh, have a blessed day. We'll talk in the chat. Peace.